ladies. My name is Brittany Prendergast. And my name is Brian Reardon. We are nutrition and dietetics students at Westchester University. Today we'll be speaking about phytochemicals and preventing breast cancer. Brian will be speaking about what phytochemicals are and what foods they can be found in. I will be speaking about breast cancer prevention, prevention with the use of phytochemicals and demonstrating a delicious vegetable dish. Phytochemicals are literally plant chemicals found naturally in fresh fruits and vegetables. Their main function is to provide protective coloring, odor, and taste to the plants in which they are found. Many of these phytochemicals seem to be involved in protecting our bodies from disease. Here are a few findings from the American Institute for Cancer Research about what phytochemicals may do to promote health and ward off disease. Stimulate the immune system. Block the potential for carcinogens, which are cancer-causing substances. Prevent DNA damage. Reduce the damage to cells that are exposed to pollution. Help to regulate hormones, such as estrogen and insulin. Excess levels of these hormones are linked with increased risk for breast and colon cancers. Brightly colored fruits and vegetables such as broccoli, carrots, tomatoes, and blueberries, or strongly flavored vegetables such as peppers, onions, and garlic are rich in phytochemicals. Because these phytochemicals are in all the fruits, vegetables, beans, and grains we eat, it should be fairly easy to include them in your diet. If phytochemicals are so good for our health, why not put them in di into dietary supplements that can be taken as capsules? At first glance, it seems like this is a great idea. And on the shelves of any pharmacy, you'll find an array of phytochemical supplements from garlic pills to lycopene. But there's a problem. Research suggests that some phytochemicals are less easily absorbed in pill form. If they are absorbed in an isolated state, such as a pill form, they are often less effective. Phytochemicals tend to work most effectively in tandem with other substances in the foods that are their source. The bottom line is, it's best not to rely on dietary supplements. To get the greatest benefit from cancer-fighting phytochemicals, eat a mostly plant-based diet that includes a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. Since October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I thought we should incorporate the phytochemicals that help reduce the risk of breast cancer. As Brian has said earlier, phytochemicals are compounds produced by plants. Phytochemicals act as a protectant to the cells that can be damaged, and if they are damaged, they can become cancerous. In fact, eating plenty of plant foods rich in phytochemicals, including vegetables, fruits, beans, whole grains, nuts, and seeds, may help prevent at least one in every five cases of cancer as well as other serious ailments, such as heart disease. Specifically to breast cancer, some of the most beneficial phytochemicals are carotenoids, which can be found in either fruits or vegetables, visterols, which can be found in red wine, polyphenols, which can be found in tea, and isothiocyanates, which can be found in fruits and vegetables also. There are certain things that can raise your risk of breast cancer such as eating excessive amounts of food, drinking excessive amounts of alcohol, eating foods containing an immense amount of saturated fats, and living a sedentary lifestyle. It's really important to incorporate physical activity into your daily routine. Now let's move on to the vegetable dish. Today I'll be showing you a great way to incorporate phytochemicals into your diet. I will be cooking a roasted vegetable dish that can be used as a side with either roasted turkey or chicken. It consists of five vegetables which are all high in phytochemicals that can reduce your risk of breast cancer greatly. This is also a vegetable dish that is seasonal so it will have a lower price on it because it is in season. Um, first we have the shallots which are high in isothiocyanates. Then we have the butternut squash which is high in carotenoids. Next, we have the parsnips, which are high in isocyanates. And then we have carrots, which are also high in carotenoids. And lastly, we have the rutabaga, which is high in flavotenoids. For a seasoning tonight, we will be using rosemary, which you just use about three sprigs of it. We also will be using 
olive oil and salt and pepper for seasoning. First, you want to pare, then dice the vegetables into edible sizes. Then, you, well, for the shallots, you want to use, you can either use a whole shallot or you can cut it in half depending if they're larger shallots or not. You want to take all five ingredients and put them into a roasting pan that you can place into the oven. You want your oven preheated to 350 degrees. You can put your shallots, your butternut squash, parsnips, carrots, and rutabaga all in one dish. You then want to mix them together so they are equally blended throughout. Now that we have mixed the vegetables evenly throughout, we should add 1 fourth cup of olive oil. The glass measuring cups are better for measuring liquids, so you should use one of them. After pouring in the olive oil, you want to spread them throughout the vegetables and make sure it's coated evenly. The olive oil gives a nice taste to vegetables, especially when you're roasting them. When roasting in an oven, the olive oil will help it make give it a little bit of a crisper and golden brown color. You want to cook the vegetables for two hours total. For the first hour and a half, you want to cover it with aluminum foil, and for the last half hour, you want to uncover it and replace it back into the oven. Before you put the aluminum foil on, you should add your rosemary. Make sure you disperse the rosemary evenly throughout the vegetables. After mixing in the rosemary nicely, you can now replace the aluminum foil on top. Make sure your oven is heated to 350 degrees and then you can place your vegetables inside. Usually you eat these vegetables with a roasted turkey and the turkey usually takes about two hours to cook anyway. So if you would like, you could put the vegetables in at the same time as the turkey. This way they come out together nice and hot. I have a feeling an hour and a half is almost up. That's time to check the vegetables. You always want to use precaution removing hot stuff from the oven. Remember to remove the aluminum foil the last half hour. You want to put them in uncovered. Now that it has been uncovered and it's cooking for the last half hour, we're going to take a look and see if it's ready to be eaten. Oh wow, this looks great. Mmm, smell that. That smells delicious. And there are your roasted vegetables.